Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Man. I'm the series JG. That last video I seemed to have a little bit of time sync, which seems to only be a problem on this series somehow, but um, at some point when trying to fix it, I had set a, like, you know, fraction of a second delay, and then I thought I cleared it out because it didn't help, and, and I just saw it was there. So, I don't know, maybe I've messed up the... Maybe I messed something up. Um, at any rate, it's time for us to start a new quest. Um... And actually, I don't see anything here that suggests that, uh... I can't bring along a, an ally. So let's bring... Let me give Bud another shot here, because uh, Lisa has defeated a boss. Bud has not done that. So let's give Bud a chance to actually try to prove himself useful. I'm sprouting. I'd like to get in your way and just interfere with your quests. By slightly delaying your ability to leave this zone. Okay, so let's place the Sandros as fuck in the space directly right of Lake Kilma. Okay. Alright, so directly to the right. If it's so close to a lake, how could it be a desert? No, I guess there are lakes surrounded by desert, but... But it's gonna be the Duma Desert. Sounds pretty neat. Those little sounds that are made when the cacti pop up. Hey, little cactus, we found a new home for you. Because you are no longer welcome in mine. Duma Desert. Sounds pretty neat. The place the sand rose is fuck. I'm telling you, man, that Sandra, that Sandra is pretty crazy. Oh, wow. Look at all these warriors, or people, I suppose. It's horrifying. It's all too much of a shock. I demand some food. I can't believe it. The ancient spellbook was stolen. How could he do this to us? Now what do we do, huh? Hey, you there. Hi, Miss... Kafinja. Ah, it's you. What did you come here for? Is there a problem, ma'am? Someone bothering you, ma'am? We'll take care of him, ma'am. Get him! Wow. Charge here. Quick to get hostile. Cut it out. Stop it now. She should be, I guess she's a lizard person. Which means that she should be like the lady with the huge hair from V, uh, the uh, original TV series from the 80s. They made a remake with the, the super hot chick from, um, God damn it, I'm forgetting now. It was, uh, Serenity was the movie version. What was the TV show? And they call them, the, the obsessed fans call themselves brown coats, the uh, Firefly. And then she, and then she was in, uh, um, uh, my, my brain is just gone. The Ryan Reynolds movie where he's like wearing red spandex and can't be killed. Um, that one. <laughs> um, Deadpool, yeah. But anyway, uh, she, they, they had a remake of V with her as like the leader, leader of the evil people. And like, eventually near the end of the second season, or first season, whichever was their last season, they brought the lady back from the 80s series, and... I don't know, that, sh that show just like, fell apart. Like, whatever they were trying to do, it didn't pick up an audience, and they were making desperate last-minute changes to make it more appealing to fans of the 80s show, which wasn't that widely remembered, and it just kind of got... cancelled. Best part was the guy who played Joker was in it. Joker from, uh, Top Gun, I mean. Anyway... Yeah, she had big 80s, like, I, when I was, like, a, a little kid, like, not really, hadn't really gone through puberty yet, but I had kind of an idea of, like, that girls were attractive in that way. Uh, I thought the uh, woman from V, the evil lady who turned into a lizard, who had this huge 80s, like, she had dark 80s hair, but it was huge and, like, ate tons of styling gel and stuff, and, like, kind of a Delta Burke haircut. Like, I thought she was, she was, she interested me in a way I didn't understand at the time. Anyway, here's the lizard lady, or here's a f ally of the lizard lady. Ah, Miss Kathinja. 
not with Lefiance. Stop clobbering everyone you see. Yikes, please don't glare at us. You can turn us into stone. Not because you're a lizard, just because you're ugly. We don't want to explode! Pathetic, what a bunch of limbs. We're looking for a guy named Mephiance. Mm, Mephistopheles? That's an ominous name. Good point. Relax. Play that game one of these days. The uh, King of the Fighters Maximum Impact. Not a whole lot of story, but what there is is voice acted in an incredibly amusing way. He stole an ancient spellbook from the school's library. Then he gathered his students and came here to try out some of the magic. He wanted to retrieve the book, but the desert is too large to search. I don't know what to do. You're on your own. Don't get involved, offered help. So she might be our ally in this, in which case I gotta get rid of the uh, kid. Hey, thanks. We'll find him sooner if we work together. We might like it better if we work together. By the way, I'm Kathinja, a professor at the Academy of Magic. Reach for the stars, but never leave your friends. We can coordinate by using the students as messengers. They're expendable, so that's good. Oh, and watch out for Mephiancy's people. They'll probably lie to you. Alright, let's go. Yeah! Alright, wait, don't leave me. Hey, don't leave me. Alright. I've got the walkthrough. I'm, I almost want to set it aside because it feels like this is a, a fun puzzle which involves figuring out which students are lying, but, um... I got lizard meat. So I'm supposed to go lower right, but... Because it is over there, so you should look over that way. He's lying. She didn't go that way. You're the liar. She did too come this way. You know that's not right. She definitely came this way. Liar, liar, liar. Am not, am not, am not. You're in, Mef in Mr. Mephiancy's class, aren't you? You're talking about yourself. Have a taste of this. Oh, yeah, how about this? Do wop wopity whoop. Ta -la 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 -la. Okay, so we're supposed to go lower right, but let's try going upper right and see what happens if you go the wrong way. life out of the undead. And because this isn't Final Fantasy, he doesn't automatically lose health for trying to do that. So we're definitely going the wrong way, I'm just curious. And it looks like you just waste time with a big boring desert. Got a lot of oh, point. It's got a lot of level one up there, and it's soldiers helm. Soldiers helms are we, whose lives are pledged to I heard and some have come from a land beyond the wind. Anyway, um, why do I check my uh? Oh, that's right. This button here. See if a soldier's helm would be better than anything that we're currently wearing. We've got a winged cap on. It is giving us plus one to stabby defense, plus one to whatever the uh, top row second column represents. 
no real idea what that is supposed to be. How do I actually change it? Tiara? Looks like it would be better, actually. And, uh... Soldier's Helm? That looks like it's even better, better. Wait a minute. The hell? How, what do I... How do I... Oh. I didn't have any of that stuff equipped. Dragon Bow Necklace, Laurent, Halberk. Whatever. Alright, forget it. <laughs> Move on. You only have three things equipped at once, so I'm just. I got rust. You can't go through here. Turn around and go back. Push past them. I think we're supposed to push past them at some point. Kids today, you're gonna regret that, youngin. But it's the power of the twin terrors. Take this, this, and this, and that, that, and that. Okay. Hey, you two, did you take care of Miss Cathinja's little pet? Yes, sir. We sent him this way. That's the right way, you dimwits. Ah, oh, well. Next time you stop him any way you can, okay? Any which way but loose. Yeah, I think we just kind of found the right path regardless, so... Charm up. We got grave dirt. All right. Yeah, ignoring these directions seems to be working out okay. That whole map where you gotta like align flowerlings different way, it might be a less less of a good idea to ignore the map. But... You wandered back into my combo after initially escaping. <laughs> Road is closed. <laughs> I just went right by them anyway. Take another path. Turn back already. Push past them. You're gonna force your way through, huh? You're in trouble now. Let's take them down. Yeah. Yeah, the kids don't seem to matter. Um. So there's a place to save. Are you ready? Yes. All right, let's go. I'm fighting them together. My everyone seems to be coming along. My fiance. Up there. I thought it was one of the little kids for a second. They got a cannon. It's Cannon Travel Company. Cathunja, so glad you came. Stop whatever it is you're doing. Turn the spell book. Book? Oh, that thing. I discovered it. What? Quite a useful book, I'd say. I memorized everything in it. 
Would you like to see how a star is born? Practice. Are you going to make one with that machine? And that's not all. I intend to make a, the stars move as I wish. I thought he was going to wish upon a star. No, he wouldn't. I wouldn't. I'm going to destroy this world by making all the stars fall. Um, question. Why? I won't let you. There's nothing you can do to stop me. I have all these useless students. Oh. Let's see, she got pushed back farther than we did. I can't tell how much hit how many hit points these things have because they keep cycling back and forth between the same two colors. Though it's looking like my assistant is killing it faster than I am. Oh, it's stunned. I should actually be nah, never mind, it's not stunned. As soon as I notice it's stunned. All right, we'll see if you... Yeah, he finished one off, okay. Now both uh, the brother and sister finished off a boss on their own. That one, I almost had my uh, rabbi friend finish it. You, are you all right? Uh, yes, we're fine. You're the one who jobbed out. He tried to blow me right out of the desert. We have to stop him. I'll send you back there to fight even more jobbers. Don't do it, Messian. He's got a lot of students. And now for the greatest show of all time. No. And we're gonna hit some kind of mode seven destruction of the world effects. What's going on? Oh, it's just fireworks. Is that really what this is going to be? He's not evil, he just wanted to do fireworks? Oh. I don't know, people who do unlicensed fireworks are evil. I think we can all agree on that. Game over here. <laughs> Ancient Chinese secret, huh? Dot, dot, dot. Um, okay, that was actually pretty cool. Here, take this. You got Pfizer Gold. What? That's the quest? Reach for the stars. The end. Okay, well, a little better communication between the faculty at the Magic University might be nice. We have to assume that when those kids attacked us, we... I know it didn't, you know, it kind of... It's like the game kind of edited that part, but, uh, you know, we murdered children to reach that, uh, that point. That's, um... That's my headcanon. We had to kill his students to get to where he was trying to do his fireworks display, which for no particular reason was in a desert. <laughs> ah, well, whatever. All of this is, all of this is uh, meaningless now because I'm sure we totally ruined 100% uh, of this game by encountering Torgo at the wrong time in Lumina, so it's all, it's all for nothing. Um, I did not mean to come here. I guess, I guess eventually I should make some kind of golem, but... I mean, they just look like the golems from the other mana games. There's nothing impressive about them, and I don't even think they look different depending on the different powers you give them. I could be wrong about that. Because I made a golem in, uh... playing this back in the day on the PS1, and I don't remember it having been particularly fulfilling. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm growing these things. I guess it's to feed to uh, pets, but I've only got the one, and I constantly bring it with me, which means it doesn't eat. They graze when you're not bringing them around in combat. I decided, I mean, I found out it's possible. I, I kind of vaguely am hoping later in the game we can get a Camilla, one of the vampire uh, sexy ladies, to follow us around as a, quote, pet, but... Um, that may or may not happen before this is over. If I can get some other pet to just randomly show up, I'll probably be fine with it. Here are some seeds I've produced. Long seed. That's what the ladies like. Unless we also got a thick seed. There's an oblong seed. 
big seed. Yeah, ladies like that. I um, hadn't figured it out yet, folks. I'm an idiot. Uh, oblong seed. Oblong seed, small seed. Let's give it a big an oblong seed and a big seed. Let's see what that gives us. These are good seeds come back in a few days, you fruit. See, because I'm just. Everything is about some kind of. Child of sex in you, end up, you see? I'm just all. I'm just all hot and bothered because I'm thinking about the big 80s hair lady from V. <laughs> it's got me all hot and bothered, what can I say? Too horny to think because of the lady from V who turns into a lizard. I mean, she was supposed to be hot. I'm not saying that she wasn't. I just, uh... I don't even really remember what she looked like other than that she had huge 80s hair. Why am I here? What am I looking for here? Note. Your pet monsters are not affected by... Oh, these are the bosses. Oh, that's right. It doesn't even give them descriptions. He's the leader of the Succubus clan, but he's a count. He's not Countess. I feel kind of bad for the Succubus clan. They're not really like. You'd think they would be led by, uh. They look down at other monsters. A clan of beautiful vampires, but I mean, I guess they could be male succubuses in this game. There is such a thing in, um, folklore as, uh. You know, evil spirits who take the form of handsome men and lead women astray. The. Basically the equivalent of a succubus. Uh, but I don't remember what they're called, and they're nowhere near as popular. And, Folklore, because why would they be when your folklore can be about hot babies? Rachel, I don't even remember who Rachel is. Rachel is. I don't think we've met her yet. If we do, we should really. Count Dovula, guardian of the ruins and leader of the Succubus clan. So we've. We fought him and I, I forgot about it, apparently. I'm looking for, uh. Ah, here we go. Gathinja. The most popular professor at the Academy of Magic, she has the power to explode things by staring at them. Oh, fun. She always looks out for people and is friends with the Thesinus. Louis, he's the caretaker of the junkyard. I don't know why he comes between the two teachers. But Methions is a professor at Geo's Academy of Magic who has a strong passion for spells. And is apparently going to destroy the world, except he wasn't. Skippy. A sly skinny man. Mr. Moti, Southern there's all sorts of awesome characters here. This game is just chock full of awesome stuff. His name is Mr. Fuddy Duddy. That's his nickname. Character. Oh, we haven't met Character 6 9 yet. I'm looking forward to that. That's gonna be something. Because I apparently I'm apparently I'm in one of those moods where everything is a stupid sex joke of some kind. Alright, let's talk to little cactus. This video might wrap up a little early, because again, we'll be not quite enough time to really get anything done on a Another quest. Fireworks! Fire... Uh, there won't really be enough time to do anything with a new quest. But we can wrap this one up and maybe be slightly on the short side. I was about to say, like, I recorded Death Stranding uh, last night, a couple videos, and all of them went over, so it evens out, except that there might be people watching one series and not another, so... If you're watching this and not watching Death Stranding, that doesn't help you. Box drops the hammer, Monster Corral... Reach for the stars. The sorcerer did a little ancient magic in the desert. I was watching too, and it was really cool. Wait, how did you know? I guess the ancient people thought of better ideas back then. Things were better in the old days. I'm against these progressives. They're changing what made our country great. I'm with you, Niccolo. Get me one of those hats. People in the old days, the better ideas than people now. People now are morons. <laughs> So the next quest, which we have to look forward to next time, is called Instruments 101. And it looks like, uh... Oh. Maybe this one, this one, it's just we have to go there and learn about something. So this, this might be super short. Maybe we can just knock this out real quick. Because 
it's about building instruments, which I guess is the thing we get to do. Hi. I just built a workshop for making instruments to play magic. It's up the stairs on the right. Our school assignment this week is to make our own instruments. That is why I built a workshop here. Hope you don't mind. Why do you build a workshop wherever you live? My assignment will be done once I get an elemental coin. Can you help me? Help us. Enchanted Instruments 101. Thanks, you're a lifesaver. You get elemental coins by playing music to an elemental spirit. But they'll only give you one if they like your song. Well, let's go look for an elemental spirit. Town limits. Oh, there's a couple of various wisps. Wow, elemental spirits. I've never seen any here before. Ever. It's like contrived that they're here now when we need them for this, uh, you know, expository quest or explanatory quest. They don't usually come to places where there are so many people. You mean like just me because you're some kind of inhumanoid? We're super lucky. Let's try to get a coin. Try playing a song you like. Uh, okay. Uh, let's think. Make me do Bunker Town. Won't you take me to Bunker Town? If an elephant likes the groove. Oh, it does. It is groovy. They are into groovy music. It'll come over here. So uh, if you choose the wrong groove, you might just lose. If he doesn't like the tune or the way. Or you pack away the instrument, it'll disappear. When one gets close enough, try talking to it. If you succeed, you get an elemental coin. A serene tune, a sorrowful tune, a cheerful tune, a mysterious tune. Let's try a cheerful tune. On the uh, flute. Let's play a little. Let's play some upbeat Jethro Tull here. Yes. Select a part. Melody. Actually, the more instruments you use, the better chance that a spirit will come closer. That's why you should use as many as possible. Right now, one is fine. Start playing. Cross eyed Mary. <laughs> Jamming good. Hey, that one seems to like it. Who would be a poor man? Oh, wait, I can't remember. I'm getting the words wrong. Find the right time to put away your instrument and talk to the spirit. Who would be a poor man, a beggar man, a thief, or if he had the rich man in his hand? And he would steal a candy from the loving baby's mouth, if he could take it from the money man. Sorry, okay, let's, let's stop. I, I swear, I, I blanked and then I got it. I did not look up the lyrics. I actually, they came back to me there. She comes jumping in again. It, it, the song gets pretty dirty, so let's, let's stop there. Stop playing. Now, take it before it disappears. Hurry, I did. It left some coins. You got Wisp Silver. You got Wisp Silver. You got Wisp Silver. Man, you got a fuckload of Wisp Silver. Sweet. I appreciate that that thing likes Tall, man. That's, that's how you get a coin. You play some Jethro Tall. If you get it all the way through thick as a brick and you don't get any coins, it's time to pack it in and give up. Actually, I've never seen it happen in real life. I just told you exactly what I was taught. All right, then you got your coins. Let's go back to the workshop I made. Okay, this might take longer than I thought. Woo! Matter of fact, it's probably a good idea to call it a video here. When we come back next time, uh, that time we had the excitement of catching, uh, getting a spirit to give us some coins. When we come back next time, we'll learn how to use them to do whatever. See you then.